you listen carefully to him, you heard exactly what excites us. You just talk about Trev and his handling of the process throughout it. I mean, exceptional. Sure yeah. Exceptional. You know, I, when I hired Trev not that long ago, right, less than two years ago, um, I knew we had hired the right person. He has not once, you know, let me know in that, in that belief. And, you know, we were talking earlier about, you know, early on in this process, you know, it's not that usual to conduct a search for a head coach over the vast majority of the season. Like it's occurred here, you know, since September 11th, basically, the search has, has been on. And Trev very thoughtfully hey, designed that the right way. And it, it checked all the boxes the right way. And ended up hiring his number one candidate. How many, how many anxious nights are there in a two month process? Or were there a lot? I think Trev will tell you he hasn't slept a lot. Yeah. Yeah, including last night. I think he will tell you he hasn't slept a lot. Because um, he's been doing his homework, you know, routinely doing his homework through this whole time. But, but to be able to do it with all, he talked about analytics, he talked about all the boxes that he really needed to check in, the, in finding the right coach. You know, he's done that very methodically. When you talk, use the word deliberative on Saturday, how deliberative he's been. Um, he'll kill me for saying this at the rest. I call him net, net, net. Everything is the net, net, net to Trev. It's the way he thinks. You know, that's that's my nickname for him. Yes. Net. net, net, net. <laughs> yeah. I don't mean that just in dollars, you know. What I, I mean? got you. Yeah. Bottom line. Yeah, bottom line. Mm-hmm. What did you learn about the way that people view Nebraska football outside of you, this entire process? You know, I think they view Nebraska football as uh, all, the, all the things that we know. It's like this historic legacy that we have here. Um, that is not where we want it to be currently. We have a, a real rebuild, a real pivotal point. I forget whether it's Trev or I think Matt's actually the one that said that this afternoon. Is it a real you know, critical turning point? Um, but it's still viewed out there as this legacy of the great history of Nebraska football. Uh, Matt talked about that being one of the reasons he's here. You know, very clearly the uni- university's legacy and history in that, in that way. Hey, Tri- Trip talked multiple times about how uh, there were hurdles. Rule did too. What, what, uh, maybe financial hurdles, negotiating hurdles. How did you guys kind of come alongside Trev in that process and try to help him um, work through it? Yeah, and this is a big financial commitment. This yeah, is no, a lot of no, money. sure, sure it is. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a treadmill that intercollegiate athletics is on in that regard. You know, there, there were some, some hurdles relative to, you know, the. The agreement with the Panthers, I think that's pretty understood, and getting that sorted out and sorted out the right way in the end, which we were able to do uh, eventually, and just being supportive of getting that to happen and getting that worked out. Those were, that was the primary issue, really. So for you, emotionally, when when did it kind of hit you that you got a new coach and it's it's the guy that Trevor wanted and all that? When when did where were you at when that when that moment happens? I guess it was on Thanksgiving. Uh, you sitting down to turkey or what? What was that for you? What like? I'd say for me it was more like a week ago. Okay. Yeah. So it's like, the details were being you know being finalized. Yes, but I'd say it was more about the beginning of last week when it was clear to me that we would end up with Matt as the, the head coach. Uh, it was also clear to me from the very beginning of the search. You know, Trev is not kidding you when he said his 1A candidate was Matt Rule. That was the name from the very, really beginning, early on of the search, who he had his eye on as the kind of lead person. Did you know who he was when Matt, Trev told you that name? Did I know who Matt Rule yeah. was? I was aware of who Matt Rule was, yes. I didn't know him, but I was aware, certainly aware of him, yes. Um, what, 